Well, we have an economic crisis in Illinois. It's unprecedented. It's the, the worst in my lifetime. And it's hit every state in the nation. There's been a tremendous drop in revenues to pay our most basic bills. And, and, and during this crisis, there's also the, the fact that some of your expenditures happen to go up as well. Last year, I sponsored uh, House Bill 174. It was a comprehensive uh, attempt to have a responsible, balanced budget. We enhanced our revenues by over close to $5 billion in new revenues. And it also uh, adjusted uh, the amount of money that people would pay under the Earned Income Tax Credit. And our personal exemption was increased, so as to make it as progressive as it possibly could be. This bill also provided property tax relief. It doubled the credit that people now have for their property taxes. And it also had an education tax credit. So what we were trying to do was also modernize our sales tax. Uh, we have a state that does not have any sales taxes on services when all our surrounding states do. Uh, and this also is something which will grow at a faster rate than the goods economy will grow in the future. What we really want to spend our money on is education. So we decided that after we pay our bills and get out of the debt that we're in because of this recession, we're going to dedicate uh, a lot of this new money uh, to continue to fund our education system. Many people said that before you raise my taxes, we want to make sure that you uh, are efficient and that you cut where you can. And we did that last year. We cut our state budget uh, and even took furloughs for state legislators. We cut our own salary. Uh, over two billion dollars in cuts in, in our budget. We are a government. We have to provide basic services and that's what we're trying to do. And unfortunately because of our revenues being down so low, what we've ended up doing is having to borrow. And We've borrowed from banks to, to pay our bills, but we've also borrowed from people who we do business with. Uh, involuntarily they've been lending us money. We owe close to six billion dollars in, in back bills. This revenue enhancement that we passed last year uh, would just only start to get us out of our, our, our budget deficit. We're not talking about expanding new programs, we're talking about just paying our bills. So that's why it was so critical. It was critical last year and it's even more obvious that we need this bill this year as well. Well I'm very uh, encouraged by the fact that people have decided to come to their state capital. Uh, many times the people, especially up in the Chicago area, don't even know what we do down here. Unfortunately it's a crisis and that's why they're here, but I'm proud that, of the fact that we have tried to respond to their pleas. I'm glad that they've come here in person and I, I uh, encourage them to continue to put pressure on the, their legislators to make sure that they, they are responsible in providing uh, some kind of a, a solution to this crisis.